Hey guys, this is Lauscast with TGN.TV and today guys I'm going to be bringing you a bit of a guide on how to set up a Razer Naga 4 WoW as I have had a few requests to do that. But not only that, I'm going to be running a Christmas giveaway as well for a Razer Naga mouse. Now to enter this contest, all you need to do is like and favourite this video, be subscribed to TGN WoW, subscribe to my personal channel and leave me a comment so I know who's entered as to what your favourite class is in the game. Now if I get over 500 people entering this contest I'm also going to sign the packaging as well and throw in a race Goliath as a mouse mat. Okay so let's get into this, one of the first things you want to do is you want to get the Razer Naga configurator, I'll put the link in the description below for that, it actually comes with the drivers for the mouse as well. And you're going to set the middle mouse button on your mouse to ALT. Now that's really important because it means that you can hold down ALT and use 1 through 12 as well for additional keybinds. Now another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your key bindings here. Now your keys for A and D, which are your keyboard turning keys, you want to replace those with Q and E. So you want to essentially move down your Q and E to A and D. So that's going to stop you from keyboard turning because you're going to turn and get used to turning by holding your right mouse button down and using D and A to turn around. Now, that's really handy for PvP because it means if you're a melee class you can circle someone, you can get out of situations quickly and it's a lot better way to play the game as well. Okay, now that also frees up your Q and E keys to do stuff with as well and I'll explain a little bit on how to do that later on. Now in my last video on my UI I did mention an add-on called Bartender. Now this does fit in really nicely with using a Razer Naga mouse. Now I'm just going to go over something again which briefly which I did in my last video which is if you left and right click on the bartender icon once you've got it installed you'll be able to move your bars around, you'll be able to set what bars you want, you'll be able to turn some off just by ticking the enabled, you can do that with a blizzard art as well and now to actually set your keybinds you're going to move all your skills into the bars now 1 through 12 you want to have set as your sort of rotation which you use whether that be in PvE if you're a DPS or the abilities which you mostly use in PvP. Now to actually set those with Bartender you just can type in forward slash KB into the chat there. Now all you need to do is hover over a skill and push the button, it really is that simple. Now for your skills which you're not going to use as often, you're going to hold down ALT and go 1 through 12 like that. So then you'll have your keybind set there for your main skills and your skills which you don't use as often but you still want to keep handy. And for other abilities which you don't use an awful lot at all, what I like to do is set them to control 1 through 12. Now all I need to do is move my little finger down to the control key to use that, which is really good. Um, now as I was saying for the Q and E which you managed to free up, and I actually use R for this as well, you've got what's called a stance bar in Bartender. Now if you can just hover over and you can select Q, E and R for those, so you can just quickly change stance if need be. If I'm playing my Hunter, I will set those as my aspects which is really good and I've been invited to join a guild, no decline invitation, I don't know who you are, that was random anyway so that is a really easy way to just sort of set your keybinds up for the Naga and you've got your stance bar though as well which is really good now another keybind you can get out of your Naga is your scroll up and again all you need to do is just hover over one of your skills and scroll up with your mouse wheel now I have that set to my heroic leap on warrior which is really handy because I can just quickly heroic leap to a location and that's really good. On my Hunter I have that set as my trap launcher. Okay the last thing I want to cover briefly now, I might actually do another video on this if people are wanting me to do so, is macroing. It's really important to try and macro up skills which you use because it means that you're putting less keybinds in because you're combining those skills and there are certain skills which you can macro up, there are certain ones which you can't. There's tons of websites out there which show you how, how to macro how to use macros and I'll go into this a bit briefly here on my warrior so one of the main macros which I have set up is this one here now this is just my buffs and my intercepts so all it does is it casts battle shower, it casts berserker rage then it casts intercept which is really good because think about it that would be three skills that I'd have to keybind and I'm combining them into one button which is really good and you can macro all kinds of stuff up just gonna go for a couple here like this one here this is for my hunter to combine my berserking with my rapid fire and there's a few more here as well. I've got my disengage macro. That is for disengage, wing clip, and it will also use my PvP trinket as well if I'm stunned, which is really handy. So yeah, that's macros. If you do want me to go more into macros, guys, please do leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.